man, homie. I'm gonna be honest, man. I wouldn't be the ghetto preacher if I wasn't, but this is where my faith comes into practice. This is where uh, everything, every sermon I've ever heard as a kid comes into play. Every sermon I've ever preached because uh, this is where you're really tested with the whole trust issue. At first, when I, when I got um, this operation, it, it looks like someone took a shotgun and blew off my belly. If I would open my shirt, you guys would be shocked. And how I'm walking, I have a tube coming out. I'm walking around with a box. I feel like the cyborg. Uh, I'm gonna ask the Justice League if they can hire me too. DC, baby. But um, uh, at first it was hard for me to trust God. Because to be honest, homie, and sorry guys, but I I felt overlooked by God, you know. My God is a great physician. He's the doctor of all doctors. And here we are paging Dr. Jesus and nothing happens. And I'm going to be down for maybe a year or I'm not going to claim that. But doctor says maybe a year, worst case scenario, two years. But I feel overlooked. And this is where I have to push the play button on trust. Because even though I don't understand, to be honest, like you said, like Pastor Juan Rodriguez says that God ain't done with me yet. I'm going to trust that God is going to let me live the spoils of war, at least for a season. I'm going to trust that I'm going to love again, laugh again, preach again. So um, I'll be honest. It's hard trusting him now, but I'm doing it, man. I, I don't want to die, to be honest. And Jesus whispers in my ear, you don't have to die. I already died for you. Mm -hmm. And first, I want to apologize that I couldn't make it to Camp Kulakwa. Um, I wanted to, man. I wanted to get better. Um, but, but, but life has taught me that sometimes it don't get better. Um, sometimes it gets worse. God allows the season of your life. If you're going through something right now, He allows it. Because imagine if everything was all good in the hood. Imagine if you had love and peace and, and happiness here on earth. You're not going to desire heaven. Why would I desire heaven if it's all good here? So I think I thank Him, even though it's hard. And, and I challenge you to do the same thing. That when you're going through these troubles and trials and tribulations or bullying, whatever it is, having trouble trusting, um, just to remember that um, it is for a reason, is to remind us that there is a better place to come. There's kingdom come to attain, you know what I mean? And I'm going to tell you this, this is the appeal, life is short. You're going to hear it. I think Drake had a song called YOLO, You Only Live Once. But life is short. You got to live it. And the world's going to tell you that. But I'm going to flip the script, another one, and say, life is short. You have to live it. But live it in fear of the Lord. And you will live it forever in the kingdom of heaven. Hang in there, man. It's worth the fight. Mm. Amen, bro. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. That's, that's good. I think that's actually perfect. Yeah.